Hello guys, thank you very much for joining in. Hi, this is Ganesh Nayak. I help finance professionals and students to excel in their career and become a better version of themselves. And I also help CFA and FRM students to clear in their first attempt. Okay, now today is the last day to defer your November 2021 exam. And I know there's been a lot of queries in your mind whether I should defer or not. So I just wanted to put my thoughts related to it. Okay, now ideally when should you defer the exam? If suppose you're not till now, till the end of September, you are not been able to complete your entire reading and the entire solving of the chapter wise questions. Okay. When I'm talking about chapter wise question, I'm not referring to Schweizer question bank. Okay. So if you're not able to do that, but, and also you do not have time for the next entire month, say primarily you are uh, working heavily. You're going to be working for like say 15 hours or say for example, 13 hours and you have only one or two hours on a daily basis to prepare, then I think so it is okay to defer the exam. But there are certain cons of different to the next next time. Okay, the problem is that you have to pay the first and the major thing is that you have to pay the $200 deferral fee. Okay, if you have already deferred it previously, you might not be able to defer it now. Okay, the these are very uh, admin related uh, issues that you might face. But the other major problem that you might face is that you will start forgetting because the moment you defer the exam, you lose the momentum. It's kind of your start. You will have to start from zero because it's our human tendency to start the preparation again after a gap. And by the time you're going to be starting up, you might lose the content that you have completed till now. So to gain the confidence again, you'll have to start fresh. You'll have to read again the entire thing. So reading the same content again might be slightly painful. Okay. Because it is like, again and again you're going to the same content without any end so that is what is mental pressure that students have to deal with when they defer the exam okay and the obviously the cost related aspect the time related aspect because you're pushing your dream for the next six months okay but when should you defer if you realize that there is no possibility that you might be able to pick up and uh, in, increase your chances of clearing the exam in, in the next one month then only you should go and defer the exam or else ideally you can give it a best shot and go for the exam okay and give your best shot see because primarily the exam fees is $550 and if you defer it's going to be $200 so the difference is going to be only $350 that is going to impact you okay so that is what is at stake if you go and give the exam now Okay, so primarily this is what my thought is on your deferral of the exam is I hope this video helped you in case you want me to create some videos explicitly on any specific uh, content then do let me know I will try to create it as soon as possible. Thank you very much guys.